Many K-pop fans most likely know what happened to Psy after Gangnam Style, however, I notice that others are completely unaware that he is still out there and keeps on making music. So in this video, I will talk about his beginning, scandals, and then what happened after Gangnam Style. Here is the story of Psy. Psy was born on December 31, 1977, in Seoul, South Korea. He is from a quite rich family, his dad is the executive chairman of DI Corporation, and his mother owns many restaurants in Gangnam. While still at school, he was not really interested in studying, he preferred to joke around, so he was known as the class clown. One of his teachers had this to say. I remember Sai making a lot of sexual jokes during class. He had such a big influence that he would drive the entire class to laugh at his jokes. I disliked him at the time, but looking back, I see that he added great energy to the class. It shows that, since the beginning, he was already quite controversial and had a big personality. After he finished school, the plan for his life was that, in the future, he would take over DI Corporation from his father. Sai had originally planned to study business administration at Boston University in 1996. However, upon his arrival in the United States, he realized that he actually didn't want to study this and didn't want to take over DI Corporation from his father. Sai, since he was 15 years old, wanted to be a singer since he saw Queen's concert on TV. But only in the US did he actually decide to pursue his dream. So Sai dropped out of Boston University and applied to study at Berklee College of Music instead. He did not tell his parents that he had dropped out of Boston University, they still thought that he was studying business administration. The truth came out when Berkeley sent an invitation to Sy's parents for the annual Parents' Day. They found out that he had dropped out of Boston University and stopped all financial support. He somehow self-sustained and, at the same time, composed numerous songs and sent them to every music agency in Korea. But did not get any response. He was not familiar with the internet or social media then, until his senior's friend became his roommate. He observed that this guy, Cho PD, was uploading all his songs on the internet and was getting rave reviews. Cho became an instant internet star and a professional singer. This enthused Sai, and he also went the same way. Soon, the same agency that signed up Cho called Sai 2 to make an album. Noticing that Sai was parodying and making fun of people quite naturally, the CEO asked him to leverage this aspect for the album. In January 2001, Sai debuted his full-length album Sai from the Psycho World, for which he was fined by South Korean government authorities due to his album's inappropriate content. Sai was a rookie hip-hop singer that stirred up the Korean pop music scene with very blunt lyrics, peculiar dance moves, and an unconventional appearance that earned him the nickname The Bizarre Singer. His second album, Satu, also created controversy upon its release in 2002, earning complaints from civil groups due to the potentially negative influence his album would have on children and teenagers. Since then, Sai has been thought of as a controversial artist, and Satu was banned in 2002 from being sold to the under-19 set. In September of the same year, Sai released his third album, Three Sai. The album's title song, Champion, saw great success, partly due to the hype from the World Cup games held in Seoul. In 2006, Sai released his fourth album, Sajib, which won a lot of awards. Sai faced a lot of financial difficulties, and he could no longer release his own songs. His wife encouraged him to join the South Korean music label YG Entertainment, whose founder and chief executive officer, Young Hyun Suk, was an old friend of Sai's. Sai released his fifth album Sai 5 in 2010, and its lead single Right Now was banned from under-19 audiences by South Korea's Ministry of Gender Equality and Family for what it deemed an obscene lyric, Life is like toxic alcohol. Even though the song was banned, he achieved a lot of awards for it. Sai had, up until this point, topped domestic music charts half a dozen times throughout his 12-year career in South Korea. All his scandals happened before Gangnam Style. In late 2001, Sai was arrested for smoking and possessing marijuana and was sentenced to 25 days in jail. Unfortunately, as a result, he was unable to be at his grandfather's deathbed as he died of cancer or attend his funeral. During an interview in 2012, Sai stated, I was very close to him. I was not there at the funeral, I will regret this for the rest of my life because my grandpa loved me so much and I couldn't be there for him on his deathbed. Sai was also fined in January 2002 for the marijuana incident. PSY first began his military service in 2003 and completed it in 2005. 
However, he ran into some problems in 2007. All able-bodied South Korean men are required to fulfill their military service at an armed camp for at least two years. In certain cases, the government allows those with technical expertise to instead work for companies that serve vital national interests. Sai was able to evade compulsory military duty by working at a software development company, ostensibly fitting into the latter category. But the prosecution found that Park evaded the draft after his uncle bribed the head of the software company to help the non-qualified singer get a job there. While employed there, he neglected his duty by holding over 52 concerts and appearing on television shows during the employment period from 2003 to 2005. The Seoul Administrative Court soon decided that PSY would have to be redrafted into the military. PSY was soon redrafted into the military, and he completed his service again in 2009. These kinds of scandals would destroy many Korean celebrities' careers, however, Sai was able to be even more successful. In July 2012, Sai released his sixth album, Sai Six, Six Rules, Part 1, and the song Gangnam Style appeared on YouTube. And quite quickly, it became the number one video on YouTube and, as well, officially charted number one on the iTunes music video charts. Gangnam Style became so viral like no other song before did. Gangnam Style now stands at 5 billion views. Sai, of course, didn't know it would become so viral, he just thought it was going to be popular in South Korea. After the success of Gangnam Style, Sai was under massive pressure to release another big hit. So after that came Gentleman. It was a great success as well, of course not as big as Gangnam Style, as to repeat that success is incredibly difficult. On June 9, 2014, Sai released a new single, Hangover, featuring Snoop Dogg. The music video again showed his comedic ideas. In 2015, Sai released his seventh album titled Chiljit P.S. Wida, with double title tracks Daddy and Nepal Baji. The album included features from label mate CL as well as Will I Am. On Inky Geo, the single Daddy won a triple crown, and as well, Daddy was also included in the dance video game Just Dance 2017. In May 2017, Sai released his eighth studio album, 4 Times 2 is equal to 8, with lead singles I Love It and New Face. The album features collaborations from several artists, including label mates G-Dragon and Young. The music video for I Love It featured actor Lee Byung-hun and comedian Pika Taro, while for the new face video, a pink Sun Naeun played the title role. In 2018, Sai officially left YG Entertainment after eight years, and a year later, he founded his own label, P Nation. He signed his first artist, Jesse. two days later, he also signed both Hyuna and Dawn. He also signed Crash and He Eyes. With time, he signed more artists, and some left. In 2022, Sai released his ninth studio album, Sai Ninth, with its lead single That That, featuring Suga of BTS. It was a successful song, it garnered more than 30 million views within 24 hours of its release and 100 million views within a week of its release. As well, it was ranked at number 20 on Billboard's list of the 25 best K-pop songs of 2022 and at number 10 on Paris Match's list of the 10 best K-pop releases from 2022. So Psy is still very successful in music, he did not disappear anywhere. There are only two other songs in the world that were able to achieve this kind of success, as Gangnam Style did. Like Despacito and See You Again. I am not counting children's songs like Baby Shark. So calling him only one hit wonder doesn't fit here, as he has many hits. He is hold as a legendary artist in South Korea and he is going to surprise us even more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.